the JEE main paper is going to be held two times in the year from 2019 onwards. Every day there are two exams, shift one and shift two, once in the morning, once in the afternoon. What we are going to do for you is quickly analyze the Jan 9th paper that was held in shift one. And this is paper one, which has physics, chemistry and maths. Let's get started. The chemistry paper was fairly balanced. There were equal parts of organic, inorganic and physical chemistry. Around half the paper, 50% was easy questions. Yeah, either direct one formula application in physical chemistry or just basic theory from inorganic or organic chemistry. Um, around eight questions were medium and rest of them were, I think, slightly difficult for the main exam. There were a couple of questions that caught my eye. Let me, let me bring them to your attention. There was one question that was organic question. It had an idea of ring closing. Now, this sort of question was usually tested in the 1990s and 2000s. Remember when at that time there was only one JE exam, no advance in main, just the subjective paper. So this sort of question was asked then in organic. The fact that it's asked in the main right now, the main exam makes it a little bit difficult. So this was one question to watch out for. Another interesting thing that the paper did in inorganic chemistry was they asked a multiple answer question yeah, and they just converted that to a single answer question. So there were many options one two three four and each thing you know had you had to pick two three of them together so this question also was a little bit difficult because of this and there was this one question uh, you had to figure out the entire process of how four drugs are manufactured to be able to answer them so these three although uh, two of them were theoretical you still had to think quite a bit to it but all in all as i said a balanced paper decent weightage given to all parts of chemistry and let's move on to the next one let's take a look at the physics paper now a bird's eye view first. 22 out of the 30 questions were slightly tricky. Yeah? At least two-step numericals and the harder questions would be over here. The, red, the rest of the eight questions, I think they were quite direct. Either a direct application of a concept, some theory, or even if a formula was involved, it was a one-step answer. Let's look at it from the point of view of the different grades. 11th standard, we can divide this into uh, units and measurement. One question asked there, mechanics, favorite of the examiners, right? Eight questions asked here. And half of these questions were fairly difficult in my opinion. The most difficult ones in the entire paper, to be honest. Uh, one question asked on waves and oscillations and three on thermodynamics and KTG. Now thermodynamics and KTG, a couple of these were easy. The last one was had a little bit of a trick, but I think that was all right too. Let's look at the 12th standard. In the 12th standard, a lot of weightage was given to electromagnetism. 11 questions, another topic, favorite of the examiners, right? Uh, these were doable in my opinion. Some formulas involved, but these are things that most students practice throughout their uh, 12th grade. So they, these should be doable, most of them. Three questions on modern physics, three on optics. Now, the modern physics questions are usually considered easy, mainly because you do this twice, right? Once in atomic structure and chemistry and once in physics. So these also were decently doable. So all in all, a balanced paper, slightly on the easier side, barring the mechanics problems that were, I think, a little bit tricky. The math paper was more or less as experts would expect it to be. Now the thing here, let's look at the bird's eye view first. Uh, 20 questions were decently easy, 22 questions were decently easy, 6 of them were at a medium difficulty and 2, they were exceptional, I'll talk about them. Slightly hard, I'll tell you why too. Uh, but first let's divide it into the different topics. Yeah, you see algebra, calculus, coordinate geometry, um, trigonometry, matrices determinants and PNC stats and reasoning. So you see these numbers. You have 5, 9, 8, 2, 2, and 4, right? Now, as you can see, most weightage given to coordinate geometry and calculus as usual. This is what most experts predict the paper to be. Now, what is tricky here with these two questions that I told you were, I think, difficult? Well, one question uses idea that AM is greater than GM. Now, this idea, the reason it's uh, this made it a little tricky, this was an algebra question, by the way. The reason why this is tricky is because this is usually tested in the advanced paper and not in the main paper at all. Makes it a little bit difficult. Now the other one, this is a personal favorite. It required you to visualize a diagram, yeah, not much of calculation work. The whole point was, you know, figure, look at the question, visualize diagram and then you arrive at the answer. Again, which is why this made the, that question decently hard. So all in all, something that you'd expect it to be the math paper, barring these two questions that were, think, a little bit difficult. Before we go, I cannot stress enough on stress management. I've been in your shoes. The adrenaline and anxiety kicking in can be a hard thing to deal with. 
But if you channelize this correctly, you can make this help you give the best shot in the exam. The key is being well rested. Make sure you sleep well and eat well before the exam. I cannot stress on this part enough. Um, if you do all of this, the rest of it doesn't matter. Main thing is, give it your best shot. The results never in your hand, so don't think about it.